the Studio Cuts Podcast with Taylor with WRRV. This is the Studio Cuts Podcast. Hey, it's Taylor from 92.7-96.9 WRRV. And the Studio Cuts Podcast is where we interview artists that were featured on Sunday Studio Cuts, our new music show on WRRV. Today, we're hanging out with Simon from the Strumbellas. He does lead vocals and they just released their new song, Greatest Enemy. Where are you right now? I am in Lindsay, Ontario, which is about an hour and a half away from Toronto. All right. So that's Canada, obviously. That's Canada. Yes, it is. It is cold and wintry right now. What is the biggest difference between Canada and America? Well, in Canada, there's a hilarious stereotype that they people constantly apologize to each other. (laughs) And, like, it's honestly super true. Like, it's honestly hilarious. Like, we'll go to a coffee shop, and, like, there'll be three people at the door going, like, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, really. So that's probably the the one thing about Canada that's pretty funny. So Canadians really are as nice as everyone says they are. They have, they really are. And I'm not saying Americans aren't. I'm just saying I don't know why the Canadians, but they just, they just apologize to each other all the time. I don't understand. I do it, too. I'm totally guilty. <laughs> What are COVID restrictions like over there? Uh, We are in, we just got out of a lockdown. So our stores are open again. And like we can have a max of 10 people outside. And you're still not supposed to be co-mingling. All right. All right. That's pretty much similar to kind of what's going on in New York. I know Texas is a whole other ball game right now here in the U.S. I've heard I've heard Texas is a whole other ball game. Yeah. <laughs> There's touring going on there. I've heard that people are touring around there. Yeah. It's like 100 percent capacity in Texas. No masks, no rules. They are just kind of saying, like, screw it. And it's wild. That is very wild. Last year in January, you guys were set to kick off this big tour in Canada after touring extensively in Europe, but it was called off for what was first reported as an unspecified illness, but it later came out to be a mental health crisis. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. So we were coming home from Europe, and literally on the highway on the way home, I started to feel really weird, and that weird feeling turned out to be a pretty severe depression and so I got super depressed and I ended up like two days before tour I ended up uh, checking myself into the hospital and uh, and spent seven days there and got diagnosed with depression and uh, and that was why we canceled the tour and I've been I've had the worst literally the worst year of my life this year um, in terms of personally and I'm I'm still in it. I'm I'm getting better, but I'm uh, it's been it's been a roller coaster of awfulness for me. I'm assuming the COVID pandemic had to take a really serious toll then on you. What was that like? Well, the pandemic was kind of interesting because I for me, I was just chilling at home anyways. Like I was so depressed and anxious that I didn't go out anywhere anyways. So it it didn't necessarily affect me personally that much, but I mean I did think it probably didn't make it good because you know I, I you know whether I wanted to or not I couldn't go out and hang out with friends or people so that was probably not good for me. But but other than that I was I was kind of homebound anyways. Oh wow! If there was something you could tell someone struggling with mental health, what would that be? Oh my gosh! I would say. <sighs> It is extraordinarily hard, and in any way possible, if you can find a way to forgive yourself or, or accept that it's not a shameful thing, and it's okay, and it does get better. That's what I tell them. I think that's a really good message, and I think that's something that a lot of people definitely need to hear right now. Yeah, I know that because of the pandemic, mental health isn't going great. You know, so I I truly feel for everyone who's going through it. It's awful. And I just like, I hope that he or she all can find some sort of solace right now. So a little happier of a topic, even though you guys weren't able to get together for the majority of the pandemic, you guys were able to get together again in November. What was it like to reconnect for the first time in nearly a year? Oh, my gosh. It was literally like we haven't been apart um 
you know, when you spend five or seven years on the road together, just living in small vans and sharing hotel rooms, you just become like family. So, so not seeing those guys for a while and then coming back into a room together, it was just like no time at all had passed. In fact, we actually are getting along, getting along the best we've ever gotten along. So, Wow, so I guess distance does make the heart grow fonder. <laughs> I guess so, because everybody's just kind of, after my incident, and, and everybody's just kind of totally a bit more chill, and we're just kind of happy to be making music and hanging out with each other now. Did being apart for so long change the way that you guys create or even think about music? Um, I don't. I, I can't speak for the five other members, but I can speak for myself and just saying, no, not really. Um, I'm, I've always just been the kind of guy that writes the bones of the songs, you know, in my living room or or around town. So that didn't change, and I continued to do that. And and then I'd, I'd send that out to the band, and then they'd be like, okay, we like it, Simon, or we don't like it. And, and so that was actually pretty similar to how we recorded our other records. We just kind of did a lot of electronic communication, and then we just went to the studio and banged it out. Your song, Greatest Enemy, just came out. What is the meaning behind that song? Um, the meaning behind it is... You know, it's it's definitely about my mental health struggles, and and it's kind of a message of hope in saying that I I it's okay to suffer. I suffer, and you know I will get better and I will prevail. Are there any other new songs in the works? There's one more that we recorded, Ooh. and we're super excited about it too. I just. I'm the last guy who finds out about when it's going to get released or what's going to happen with it. So <laughs> so it's going to be as much of a surprise for us as it will be for you. Yeah, totally. That One day I'm just going to get an email and be like, hey, the song's out. And I'll be like, oh my God, okay, cool, yeah. <laughs> Can we expect a new album in 2021? It's been a little bit since you guys have put one out. Um, yeah, totally. And you know what? It's not that we don't want to we're, we have lots of songs brewing we're all great friends everything is good it's just um, we just don't have any official plans for that yet if touring becomes safe do you see the band going on tour when that's allowed oh yeah for sure I mean um, you know that's that's the lifeblood of the music industry and and uh, I think that I think that uh, people are definitely excited to go back on the road like and uh, hopefully hopefully soon, yeah. Would you pick up your tour in Canada, or would you just do something completely new? That is an amazing question. <laughs> and uh, we have some places that we've always wanted to go. Um, but we'll, we probably Canada, United States, and Europe for sure. Those are like three territories where we always go. But we've always had uh, dreams about going to South Africa. Wow. And Latin America. I'm sure the warm weather would be a nice change from Canada right now, too. I am ready for some warm weather. <laughs> I am. This winter is dragging on. All right, my last question for you. If someone were to come to your city, obviously when it's safe, what is the one thing they have to have to do? Um, oh, Mama, in, what would you do <laughs> in Lindsay? Um, well, just for the record, I live in a very small town, so... Um, if there's one thing you'd have to do, it would probably be come golfing with me. All right. Where's your favorite golf course? Uh, just a local one, Lindsay Golf and Country Club. I've become a golf fanatic. So if you come to my town, Taylor, you're coming out golfing with me. All right. Well, it sounds like a plan. Well, thank you so much, Simon, for hanging out with me and the Studio Cuts podcast. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the support of the song and the band. It's awesome. Make sure to check out Greatest Enemy by the Strombellas and watch out for new music when they release it. And don't forget to catch Sunday Studio Cuts, a new music show featuring all of the up-and-coming alternative music hosted by me every Sunday at 10 p.m. on 92.7-96.9 WRRV. Join us next week as we interview another up-and-coming alternative artist on the Studio Cuts podcast.